What's going on, everybody? It's Coach Harper here, and today I'm going to be taking you guys through another track and field workout. We're going to be doing conditioning with my client here, and we're going to show you guys exactly what he's doing so he can get ready for his 2023-2024 track and field season. As always, we start with our pre-warm-up drills, and the pre-warm-up drills are the drills that prevent injury. So if you guys are interested in those pre-warm-up drills, I have an actual video pack that is in the description so you can download those so you can get your youth athletes doing these so they don't get injured. And we see we're doing some of these lunges to a sit and a stand. So we like to really concentrate on the hip flexor. So we do a lot of those movements. Now we're gonna move to some toe walks and walking back normal, teaching them how to stay on the ball of the foot. So we do that about two times. Moving on to the form walk, we concentrate on proper mechanics while we do this form walk, staying up tall, driving the knee, and then move on to A skips, and then to the B skip. Today's pretty cold, so we got a two lap warm up in before we start doing our pre-warm up drills, and then moving on to our high knees here. Just wanna get them nice and warmed up before we get started on our workout. Okay, so today we're doing 200s, and the reason why I have them doing 200s is because I want them to feel the pace of going this 40 second 200 pace so that he can, can, he can hit his 400 meters at 120. So we're gonna do a lot of repeats. So it's probably gonna be about eight of these at 40 seconds. And then we're gonna uh, progressively get faster as we go through uh, the, the, the training. We just finished. We're at 38, we're good. So the first one is at 38, which is really, really good. Um, not too fast and a lot of times you hear me say don't run too fast i'll tell my kids hey you're running a little bit too fast right 38 seconds i'm okay with that we can stay there between 38 and like 41 42 we'll be good for all eight of these all right so we can ready to hit number two in a second so let's go look Thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight. good all right, so number two was 39, which is great. Remember, we're trying to go for that 40. So if he were to go, let's say 34, <laughs> I'd be like, okay, you're going too fast. All right, so since we're right around that time, right around that pace, we're good. Now, here's the thing. Well, a lot of times where kids get into practice, the coaches, they like to get them to go, you know, sometime that all of the faster kids, kids go. But you can't really do, you gotta really meet them where they are because you need to get them to go that pace that we're on, the pace that's comfortable for them. And then we progressively get faster as we do uh, like three week to four week cycles. So we're gonna do number three. Hopefully he can stay where he's at. And if he stays where he's at, then I know we're good. Then we're gonna put, put him on number four and see how he looks halfway through the workout. That's good. How you feel? Good. All right. Now I felt a lot more comfortable. All right, you're at a good pace. You can stay right at that pace. It's comfortable. All right. Cool. Y'all ready? And go. Six, 37, 38, 39. Good. Thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight. Good. So through four, he's at. 38, 39, so that means he's really comfortable at this pace. So it's good, that's now that's a good indication of it's time to actually move up. Now, normally in a regular track season, what I would do is I would keep him on another cycle of this or another week of doing the same one so we can get really, really comfortable at this and then we're gonna drop the time. So right now, it's kind of cold out here, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop the workout by two by two. Instead of doing eight, we're gonna go ahead and do six because this temperature is really dropping. It's like really cold. My mouth is cold, my nose is red, my hands are <laughs> freezing, so I know how you feel. So we don't wanna be doing a lot of heavy sprinting uh, in this in this weather, even though 40 seconds is not really that fast. But but it's good for him. He's at a good pace and I like it. So uh, we're gonna cut it down by two and we're just gonna keep pushing him to hit that same time. But everything is going well. Go. Four, 
36, 37, 38, 39, and 40. Okay, all of his 200s were between 36 and 40, which indicates to me that he's ready to go 38 seconds instead of 40 seconds, all right, and it's, and it's 200. So we can actually move him down. So I'll have to make the decision as a coach to go ahead and just move him down instead of staying where we are because he feels comfortable at that pace. He looks good. He's walking back. He's not bending over or anything. So that means he's doing this at a comfortable pace. So we need to make it a little bit more uncomfortable for him. So I'm going to go ahead and make it an executive decision to drop him down to 38 200s. And then uh, we're going to go from there. So that's just my thought process on how you go through these workouts when you're doing, when you're working with track athletes. And so there's only one thing that you got to do. Like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so that you never miss an upload. Talk soon.